Okay, I don't think that was going anywhere, so I decided to skip it. So, welcome to Arranger X on the Sega Mega Drive. I'm doing a couple of games at the moment, and I thought I needed to do an old game. So, let's have a quick look at the options. Um, okay, six-button controller. Just remember what all my buttons are. Shoot, shoot. Move special weapon. Oh, okay. Ah, have some music. That's always good. So I played this a little bit before. Nothing major. Didn't complete it. So we're gonna have a little look around. I remember some of it. I remember thinking it was a little bit weird. Um, oh, it's just a control of the. Uh, two things as you'll see soon. Pseudo 3D which is pretty cool. So here we go. Right, okay first off, oh, that's the flamethrower, we don't want that. So right, yeah we can control both the bike and this at the same time. And getting used to that is a what, oh, quite different, ah, it's a somewhat homing I think when you're on the bike. So yeah, you have two different HP bars for it. And when you swap weapon does nothing when you're on the bike, only when you're here. So let's get back in the bike. So to jump you have to hold down and then uh, shoot. Which is quite awkward. But it's not anything that's difficult. Ah! Missed. Yeah. Right. So, oh damn it, I'm terrible at this. So, okay, let's try and... Alright, ah oh, damn it, oh, it gets me every time. Okay, I'm not doing that well, as you can see. I have, in the bottom left, about a third, maybe less. A tenth <laughs> of my HP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge off a bit. And here we go, this is what we want. It heals you up. Okay, it takes a little bit of time. Let's get rid of that because that's getting on my nerves. Okay. Ah, still got me. I'm trying to avoid it. I don't know if I can. Well, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Let's quickly top that back up. So it drains power to heal you. Ah, whoa, whoa. That was close. Damn it. Terrible. Okay, yeah, we're almost at the end of stage one, actually. The music is pretty good. Very bassy. Graphics are kind of like Kagane, only uh, a lot smaller. Oops. Alright, yeah, we fight the uh, big guy now. So, I, I basically just separate and I try and find something I can hit by going up and down. It's usually like uh, everything that's shooting at you. Oh, that's right, yeah. We can use the flamethrower. Ah! Come on. Come on. Okay, basically our power. So we need to... There we go. Something here we can shoot. I think it's his leg. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a different LP. It's... Uh, I've never completed it. It gets quite challenging later on. But, ah! You know, it's quite a good one. 
it's quite a good game. Uh, Mr. Case Claiborne, a fan. He, he likes the game and he wants me to play it, so I will. Uh, right, let's get in the bike if we can. Because at least we get homing, then it gives us a whole different HP bar, and he'll be about dead now. There we go. Well, that's the first stage, which is basically the tutorial stage. That's a nice little game. It's good fun. Yeah, you get this like pseudo 3D wire mesh when you move into your next level, which is quite fun. Reminds me of some of the old arcade games. Okay, stage two. So yeah, let's get in the bike. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a great little game, and you should play it yourself. Although the con it takes a while to get used to the controller. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part.